Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, 4-bit carry look ahead adder is designed to add to 4-bit numbers. So here, we have been asked to find the overall propagation delay of this carry look ahead adder. So here, we have been given that this carry network is designed using the AND or logic and it is implemented in the two gate levels. And this is how it can be implemented in two gate levels. Well, to generate this carry propagation and the carry generation coefficients, we can use any of the five gates. Similarly, for generating the sum output, we can also use any of the five gates. But the design should be such that the overall propagation delay of this carry look ahead adder is minimum. Apart from that, here we have been also given the propagation delay of each logic gate. So here, the propagation delay of the AND and the OR gate is two time units while the propagation delay of this NOT, NAND and the NOR gate is one time unit. So considering all these things, let us find the propagation delay of this carry loop head logic. So already we know that it is implemented in the two gate levels using the AND OR logic. So here, the propagation delay of the AND gate is two time units while the propagation delay of the OR gate is also two time units. That means this carry look ahead logic will generate the carry outputs in four time units. So now we need to find the time which is required to generate these GNPNs as well as this sum outputs. So here the output of the AND gate is available in the two time units and it can be implemented either using the AND gate or we can also use the NAND gates. So if we use the NAND gates, then we will require two NAND gates. So each NAND gate will have a one time unit delay. That means if we implement this AND gate using the two NAND gates, then it will also require two time units. That means the carry generation will require two time units. Similarly, let us see the time which is required to implement this XOR gate. So if A and B is the input to the XOR gate, then its output can be given as a bar dot b plus a dot b bar, right? So if we implement it using the AND, OR and the NOT gate, then this is how it can be implemented. So as you can see, if we implement it using this way, then we require three gate levels. So here, the propagation delay of this NOT gate is one time unit, while the propagation delay of this AND and the OR gate is equal to two time units. So if we implement it using this way, then the propagation delay is equal to five time units. But in the question, we have been already given that the inputs are already available in the true form as well as the complemented form. That means here no need to use this NOT gate because this A bar is also available with the A input. Or in other words, the inputs in the complemented form is also available with the true forms. So here, instead of using this NOT gate, we can directly apply these inputs A bar and B bar. So in this case, we just require two gate levels. So here, the propagation delay will be equal to two plus two time units. That is equal to four time units. So if we implement this XOR gate using this AND and the OR gate, then the propagation delay of this XOR gate is equal to four time units. But the same XOR gate can also be implemented using this NAND gate and the NOR gate. So first let us see how it can be implemented using this NAND gate. So we know that if the NAND gate is used in the two gate levels and if the inputs to the NAND gate are these A, B, C and D, then its output is equal to A, B plus C, D. So here the output will be equal to A dot B whole bar while the output of the second NAND gate is equal to C dot D whole bar. So the two inputs to the last NAND gate are A dot B whole bar and the C dot D whole bar and its output is equal to this A dot B whole bar dot C dot D whole bar and whole bar that is equal to A B plus C D. So instead of B, suppose we have a B dash and instead of C and D, suppose if we use A bar and B input, then we will directly get the A X or B. That means here the first input is A while the second input is B bar. Similarly, for the second NAND gate, the one input is A bar and the second input is B. So if we apply these inputs, then the output of this NAND circuit will be equal to A bar dot B plus A dot B bar. And that is equal to AXOR 
B. So in this way, using these three NAND gates, we can also implement the XOR gate. So here, since the propagation delay of each NAND gate is one time unit, so the overall output will be available after two time units. That means if we implement this XOR gate using the NAND gates, then its overall propagation delay is equal to two time units. Similarly, if we implement this XOR gate using the NOR gate, then also the oral propagation delay will be equal to two time units. So in this case, the input to the first NOR gate is equal to A and B, while the input to the second NOR gate is equal to A bar and B bar. So the output of this first NOR gate is equal to A plus B whole bar, while the output of the second NOR gate is equal to A bar plus B bar whole bar. And once it is passed through the final NOR gate, then the output will be the complement of this function. And here we will have a plus sign. So if you see the overall output, then it is equal to a plus b dot a bar plus b bar. And that is equal to a bar dot b plus a dot b bar. That means using the three NOR gates also, we can also implement this XOR gate. And since it is implemented in the two gate levels, so its propagation delay will be equal to two time units. That means if we implement this XOR gate, either using the NOR gate or the NAND gate, then its propagation delay will be equal to minimum. So to minimize the overall propagation delay, let us use either NOR gate or the NAND gate. So here, the propagation delay of this carry look ahead logic is equal to four time units, while the propagation delay of this AND and the XOR gate is equal to two time units. That means after total six time units, all the carry inputs will be available. And to generate the sum output, we will also require two more time units because the propagation delay of this XOR gate will be equal to two time units. That means if we see the overall propagation delay of this carry look ahead logic, then it is equal to eight time units. That means whenever we will implement this XOR gates using either NAND or the NOR gate, then the overall propagation delay of this carry look ahead logic will be minimum. And that is equal to eight time units. That means for the given question, this B is the correct answer.